What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Ashley aka Pretty Hippie and I'm back and I'm back with another video guys so oh my god let me look at him stepping on toys hey what the business is what that business is what that what the business is oh Cyrus you ain't got nothing better to do uh-uh 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 yeah please <sighs> now you don't deny me me hold the baby you gonna mess my makeup up Oh, no and makeup. you just licked my perfume on. Now I put some more and perfume I taste on. It. So what? That means you need to get some more non-toxic perfume with the. Uh, I know you ain't talking. You just put the, that Victor <laughs> on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Look, I got some stuff in my cart though. Man, put some clothes on. I got some stuff in my cart. Go put some though. clothes on, please. Ma'am, I gotta finish what I'm saying. There's some on my list. It has like an organic. Uh, you know what? What are essential oils? Have? What a what? Essential oils. What essential oils? <laughs> Mm -hmm. you know where they at though? What's up? You don't know? Do you know where any of them are? Probably still in boxes somewhere. Cause I'm gonna make me a, a body spray. Okay. Go put your clothes on. I've been thinking about that for a minute now. Please excuse the junkie room. Um, our room is not complete yet. It's like one of the only rooms in the house. It's like not done yet. So I'm gonna put on some more of my perfume. I'm wearing this black opium by YSL today. I ain't gonna even people here. You should have me. Because he licked it off. So I'm gonna just spray a little bit more. You need to put some lotion on them ankles. That's what you need to do. I already put some lotion on. Thank you very much. Oh, that smells so good. And I get to wear my perfume today because we don't have our children this morning. I don't know, some of y'all may know Osiris has really, really sensitive skin. So when I'm, you know, with him, which is all the time, I don't wear perfume because, you know, it breaks his little skin out. So when it's just mommy and daddy, I can wear my perfume. We're getting ready to go to the OB because we have to check on baby. I'm 25 weeks, guys. And um, my stomach is big. I'm a little worried. So we're gonna go do my glucose test today um, because that's what they missed with my last pregnancy. They missed that I had gestational diabetes and they said I may have had gestational diabetes because I missed it by like one point or something like that. So I'm hoping that's not the case this time. Um, my stomach is really big. Um, for 25 weeks, and I'm eating very healthy. I eat um mostly vegetables, whole foods, like food that I cook because I just haven't had a taste for any. Like, I mean, I eat out sometimes, like when we go out to eat, of course, but I like eating at home. I've been buying like a lot of groceries. Spending like a lot of money on groceries. Okay, just keep groceries in the house. It's like, oh my god, but <laughs> I'm not crying about it. I'm just saying. Complaining, complaining. Be I'm not complaining. Oh my god. Anyway. Be thankful. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Tell the camera you thankful. I am Tell thankful. I am thankful. You happy now? You can supply this good food to your children. Yeah, but I've just been eating like platefuls of vegetables. Um, like I'll make potatoes with a side of kale, asparagus, cabbage, um, corn, you know, just stuff like that. I've been cooking like just Brussels sprouts. I love Brussels sprouts right now. And yeah, that's just, you know, the basics of my diet, like just eating. And I haven't been eating a lot of um, of those processed meats, like the Beyond and the Impossible because they just give me heartburn. So I haven't even been eating these substitutes. So like when I say beans, vegetables, grains, like maybe occasional pasta here and there. Look, I've been doing good. And I've been taking my sea moss, which I'm about to go do right now. Um, I've been eating a little bit of ice, a little bit of ice here and there. 
I got to ask the doctor about that too because I know that indicates low iron, which I had severely low iron in my last pregnancy, but I don't think it's as bad this time where I would have to take like a synthetic iron pill. So I'm going to ask her about that because I have started eating ice a little bit and I'm just like... Well, we got a lot of whole food options that we can add and keep supplementing. Yeah. But I do take my seam off, like I said, and that has like a lot of iron in it, so... Yeah! That's good for that. Hey, let's go get some sour sauce from the... Uh, but the I want to show y'all my store. perfume collection. I've just started collecting perfumes. Like, I'm in love with my collection so far. Like, it's not like a huge collection, like I know, like... A lot of people have like thousands and thousands of perfumes, but like I said, I just started my collection and I am happy with my little collection. I can't wear it like that because of my baby anyway, so you know I just buy it when I feel feel like it. But anyway, I'm about to go downstairs and eat my sea moss and I'm about to get ready to go. I gotta take my scarf off. I wanted to get cute today because I never go anywhere. So I'm going to the doctor's office today and I was like, huh, let's get cute to go to the doctor's office. Yeah, story of my life. <laughs> Please excuse the messy room. I just wanted to show you guys my stomach at 25 weeks. Like, we are out there. Look at all those toys back there on the floor. That's what happens when you have children. They come in your room and just mess your room up. But, um... This is me at 25 weeks. A little big if you ask me. Um, for 25. But, um, yeah. That's the tea. <laughs> Here's my outfit of the day. This cute little sweatsuit from Lit. Very comfortable. Big, cozy, and it has pockets. What? Put my whole phone in my pocket. But yeah. We're just doing it real cute and comfy. Tevin said I look like a snowman. Okay, so of course I'm running late, but I have to do a few things first. I have to put some jelly and cream cheese on my toast, and then I have to take my sea moss. I'm gonna take my sea moss first. I'm gonna do the pineapple. I have the strawberry too. And a lot of you guys wanted to know where I get my sea moss from. I'll link it down in the comments below. I finally got my website up and going, guys. It's been a long time coming. Got so many things going on at once, but this is something I made the other day. I just put it in a little container, but I just eat it straight out of the jar. Take like two, three, four, however many tablespoons I feel like taking. Just like that, it's gone. <laughs> it's time for us to literally walk out like right, right now. But Tevin is still upstairs getting ready because he don't know how to get up when I tell him to get up. And then when he get up, like he gotta go take a shower. Oh, now you gotta go take a shower. When you already late. You don't get to take a shower when you late. You gotta go dirty. But he ain't gonna do it. I'm about to put this Violife vegan cream cheese on my toast. I'm also going to put this blackberry spread. I love blackberry jelly. I like grape jelly, but blackberry is my absolute favorite. And I use the good seed bread. Let me show you guys. I use the power seed bread. It's really good. 
It's like the good bread. You know, it's not like the bad bread. That's what Tevin calls it, the good bread. But um, I just put the toast in the oven. So now I'm about to just take it off and put my stuff on there. And I'll see you guys when I get in the car. All right guys, we have made it to the car. And on the way to the doctor's office, the time is now 9.40. My appointment is at 9.30. Bigger, so I had to go have a C-section. 
Um, and I'm definitely trying to prevent that this time. If I do have to have a C-section this time, I at least want to be prepared. I just want to be prepared. Like, if I can give birth vaginally, we're going to do the VBAC. The vaginal birth after cesarean. That's what we're planning to do. But if I have to have a C-section, I just need to know ahead of time. Just so I can be prepared. That's all I ask. So, I'm staying on top of everything. Like, letting them know, like, hey, I'm getting kind of big. I'm only 25 weeks big here like is he big or is it just water like what is it so she's gonna measure today and then let me know if I need to go in for an ultrasound after we leave the doctor's office we'll probably go and do some shopping we have a new dog I don't know if I told you guys about this dog no, no I didn't because she's disobedient she is so bad like we bought a gate for her, a $400 gate, one of the kennels that go outside like we got for her room. She tears the gate up, okay? She tears the gate up to the point where she makes a hole in the gate and escapes into the yard. We have them put up so that they won't use the bathroom all over the yard so that when the children go out and play, we're not like, oh, it's poop everywhere. You know, they can just run freely and play in the yard without worrying about stepping in dog poop or whatever Haru is trained like Haru is like I know Haru we got Haru when he was a puppy so he even if he's out of the gate he'll go back into his own space and use the bathroom that's how trained he is like he won't use the bathroom in the yard like to poop pee whatever he goes into the gate now with her when she's out she uses the bathroom wherever she is like she's a year old and we got her um to mate with her root because you know she was free or whatever i was like oh a free german shepherd that's pretty cool like she's really pretty but she is just not trained at all so what she does when she gets out of the gate she goes into the boys playhouse which i some of you may know in my last vlog I think it was my last vlog. We spent like four thousand dollars on this playset for the boys because of COVID and everything. Like you know, they can just go in the backyard and play, and I have to worry about being on a nasty playset. You know, where they're not cleaning and sanitizing. So we just got them a really nice playset to go in the backyard. Now she gets out of her cage where her house is. She has a house in there and everything. And she goes into the boys' playhouse and lays in there as if it's her house. But not only does she lay in there, she has started chewing on the wood. Okay. We spent $4,000 on this playset. And she has already, like, chewed up some of the house on the inside. So now I have to call the people and have them come replace the wood that she chewed it's only like i think like two planks that may have to be replaced because i don't want the boys to go in there and get splinters you know from the wood being all chewed up and um the inside of the wood being exposed so i have to call them to come fix it but before i do that we're just going to try to figure out a way to keep her in this gate so we're going to go to tractor supply and get some barbed wire to see if that'll keep her from being able to manipulate the gate. If that doesn't work, she's just gonna have to be chained up to the gate. It's a sad life, but I mean, hey, like she's very destructive. Like she goes and pulls all the stuff into the yard. Excuse me, all the stuff into the yard and chews it up and just leaves it all over the yard. Now we have to go out there and clean up the yard. It's a mess, like. Keeping her in the gate is a job. But, um, yeah, this is what you get when you have a, a one year old dog that's not trained. It's alright. She got out for the last time and she also uh, didn't poop. So I've, worked, I've been training her on that part. So she didn't poop outside. Well, she, good. She, At least she got that part right. She knows how to poop. She, you know, only poop in, uh, in the game. So I'm training her on that. Everything is just training, so I think it'd be okay. Yeah, whatever. I don't have to deal you, with you, it, so. Exactly, you do all this tugging. I don't have to deal you with it. You ain't doing no thing. So, that's Tevin's job. He goes out there and trains the dogs. That's his thing, you Those know. always get him. It's like I He trained Haru. He did a good job with Haru, so I have faith that he can train this dog, too. If not, she can just find her another home. How's she going to get trained? 
want to give her away, so she had to be trained. There you go. But anyway, we will see you guys once we get to the doctor's office. I'll let you know what she says. This pregnancy is like a breeze. But I'm about to just relax. Breeze. Breeze. But anyway, I'm just about to relax and enjoy this ride. So we'll see y'all when we get to the office. So we just got done at the doctor's office. I did my glucose test and iron level today. And she also checked my stomach. Um, what is he doing? I'm trying to write these notes for this little guy. Okay. Oh, he's writing notes. But, um, yeah, it was so cold out here. Like it's literally freezing. Are we going to the metaphysical shop? Are they open? What time is it? Is it 11? It's 11.55. Yes, they're open. Okay. Yeah, we gotta go to Starbucks. We gotta go to Starbucks? He always gotta go to Starbucks. Where is Starbucks? Do you wanna go to the one downtown and sit in there? Oh man. That'll be fun. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Okay, I'm in. So, oh my God, it's so cold. It's really cold. Turn the clock on. Thank you. I just have to wait for the results to come back. So about the size of the baby, she said I'm measuring on track. The reason I look so big is because I have, what is it called? I forgot about that little thing. The yeah, it's like the where your muscles get weak from your last pregnancy or a C-section. And it makes your stomach look bigger than I it is. I saw it when you laid down too. I saw this little, uh, this little straight line uh, uh, Tyrannosaurus Rex looking thing pop up. Oh! Above the, uh, <laughs> above the stuff. You know, no, it's not Tyrannosaurus Rex. It's uh, that one... Uh, dinosaur that got that that uh, that, that mohawk. Okay, well, thank you. <laughs> you sure know how to make a, a woman feel good. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, I'm not measuring as big as I look, which is really good. That's a relief. Let's go, hit it. Let's go. The thing because we gotta go. I need some uh, where to go? We gotta go pick up these children too sometime today. Oh, we gotta pick up the yeah, room. Yes, so I feel so cute today that I'm about to take some pictures before we go into Starbucks. So we are downtown, and I'm just about to take some pictures real quick in my little outfit. My husband's gonna take my pictures because he's my photographer. I got a personal photographer back here, y'all. Ah! I'm a substitute photographer. A substitute photographer, he called it. And I do what I'm supposed to do when I have to do. All right, let's get him right here. Let's. I like this wall. What do you think? Like right here with the oh, white? Oh yeah, that's cool. All right. All right, this is Sherry Amore, and she looked like a cheese pro. I like a big booty dude. Girl, sit that left at Taffy. That left at Taffy. Girl, sit that left at Taffy. That left at Taffy. Girl. What's time to do it? You're a tiger on the wild. You're a curious tiger in the city. You're a curious tiger on the prowl of the city. You just woke up in the morning. In the city. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're a tiger on the prowl. Walk, walk, walk. Yeah, give me something. Yeah, stay right there. Do that again. Come on, tiger. Come on, tiger. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. One time for the city. Two time for your mama. One time for your daddy. Three times for your sister. C 
six times for your cousin. Five times. So I'm just looking at the photos Tevin took. I gotta choose to see which ones I like best to upload to Instagram. We're just sitting in Starbucks having a date day now that my doctor's appointment is over. We're just going to enjoy this time without the children. <laughs> he took all my lip gloss. I'm trying to dive in there like I dive in. So we're just having a little mommy daddy time without the babies. Get in the camera. Oh. I'm you got good. you got lip gloss lift all over. I can't lift it up. Oh dude. Is that better? I gotta hold oh, it. Tell me you know, you're trying to have it just for you. As far as my way in here because she I like she don't know how to get get right on camera. You ain't in the camera, I guess not. You're sitting in the middle. I'm not sitting in the middle. You're not. Oh, dang. You don't like to do that by myself? Yeah. That's all it's a good camera, huh? I think it's something else. It's all like it's Chris. Else. It's something else. I love you. Sell me for that. <laughs> Say it back. They're watching. Oh, I love you too. <laughs> he does. He really does. Before we talk about my pregnancy symptoms, I want to talk about this my guy. Uh, I posted a post that a lot of you all saw and congratulated him on, but he is now a certified astrologer. I have my own personal certified astrologer. <laughs> and you don't. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But seriously. He is a certified astrologer now, and I am so proud. Because he studied hard, like, I mean, study, study this stuff for years. And then it took a year for him to get his certification in astrology. So now he's a certified astrologer, and now he's going to go on to be a certified counselor, which is the, the next thing he wants to do. Yeah, so, I'm couple it up together. I'm gonna taste these. I just realized he got this pistachio frappuccino, and I'm allergic to pistachios, and I just tasted it. That's what I get for going to his stuff. Yeah. I just made a mistake and tasted yours. I didn't make no mistake. I didn't know you got the pistachio. It ain't no, I didn't get the pistachio. Oh, what did you get? I got something that's vegan. What do you mean? Oh, thank God. I now have my own personal certified astrologer who I can call and ask questions about my life. Every day, 24 <laughs> Um, what's going on with the moon? Yeah. It's in the same place it was two minutes ago. He can let me know when it's a good time to launch businesses, when it's a good time to launch anything, like anything I'm working on. Um, I'll be asking him like, when is it a good time for me to launch this product? A lot of you know I'm working on my podcast, it's still in the works. So, I need to know when I should launch my podcast. Um, and it goes deep, man. Like, you can just figure out a lot about yourself. It has helped me in so many ways. Like, since he's been doing astrology, of course, I've been his guinea pig. He's yes. the main prototype. <laughs> Actually, I technically, I'm the main um, guinea pig, and then, and then my, a couple of other family members. 
and so was a big confirmation to a lot of this stuff too. Because he's a child, and then the child is all subconscious, and then when when stuff happens in the sky, it's very easy to see what's going on when you look at the child. That, that helps out a lot. Anyways, he has Mars in his first house at the moment, and he's just like even more than usual. And that's saying I'm off the chain. Play no chain. Yeah, he is off the. <laughs> we got hinges. <laughs> he has broken hinges. But you can learn a lot through astrology, so that's something we will definitely be offering in the future. I'm so excited. Um, it's just so much stuff we're working on right now. It's crazy. Like I literally just I'm excited. Like, I have no words. Me too. I'm excited to do other people's consultations and um, give advice um, on things that help. You know, things that make sense, push people forward, and for people to know pieces of themselves that either they. Um, were not able to deal with before or just things that they just knew that was a gift that they may be interested in maybe they're a little bit nervous to move forward in some areas I mean, but you can see if it would be beneficial for them to actually pursue it um, like a career or you know just what how is it how is certain aspect things anything that you do in your life affecting other areas of your life because everything's connected. I could, um, if I travel right now, when I travel, I get, um, I be ready to go to sleep. But at the same time, when I travel, when I'm right, uh, like driving or whatever, in the car, I also am free. My mind is so free. And um, I told them a long time ago that I used to write songs. You know, I'm not supposed to do this, but I used to write whole songs in the car when I was driving from Tennessee to uh, Alabama. And um, that was just because of where my moon placement is. And it just, so there's a lot of easy things you can figure out. And just like, it's really just logic. So it's great science. Well, I'm excited. Me too. And I already got my chart. I'm studying myself, um, studying my planets, knowing what the planets mean, knowing what the houses represent, knowing where my planets are, knowing the um, my sun sign, moon sign, rising, all of that. It. It's just like, it's so interesting because this stuff is so accurate. It's like, it's like, yeah. it's very accurate. And uh, just to be clear, I'm a certified Vedic astrologer, and um, that deals with the actual placement of the planets in the sky. You can like get a app called Sky Map or Sky View, and then if you look on that app, it'll say um, Venus is in Sagittarius right now, and that's how it really is. Um, so it, go it goes on the actual placements or the, um, the fixed stars in the sky. Yeah, Western astrology kind of does uh, more so goes off of uh, a procession of the equinoxes and uh, deals with basically seasons and um, so it moves 23 degrees ahead but the moral to the story is once you already know what you are you deal with degrees so instead of having just like a 30 degree zodiac sign you can break it down into like three sections of that zodiac sign which are called nakshatras and that's basically signs within the signs and it helps you pinpoint exact characteristics it's like little cities inside the state and then they, they have certain things they do in this city and it looks different and they have certain things they do in another city that looks different um, yeah so it's just like that it's just uh, i mean it's, it's actually really beautiful and we're definitely going to be talking about astrology on the podcast so 
The plan is for Tevin to be a co-host, but right now we're just gonna say he's gonna be on a lot of episodes before we officially call him a co-host because you know he um, works and stuff and our schedules are like just, but hopefully he can be on a lot of the episodes and give us a lot of insight on astrology. Um, because I know for some that are not familiar with astrology, you probably just listened to that and it was like, yeah, I try to cut it short. That's how I was at first. Like, it's a lot of information, but it's such good information that can just help you heal from a place that you can't even imagine. Like, you just figure out, like, it's just weird. Like, I can't explain it. Yeah, that's why. But it just helps you heal from a place of actually healing and not surfacing your healing. You know how like some people do, some people say they do shadow work and healing, but do they really do the root work? Like astrology is like the root work of healing because it allows you to know why this happened to you. It allows you to know like this, this was supposed to happen to you so that you could become this or that you could you know overcome this and become this like it helps you to know like when to like just a basic level know when to launch your businesses like if you're planning to launch a business like maybe you should launch it on this specific time because if this matches up with your you know what I mean? It's yeah. just a lot, like it just helps you so much to elevate in like the highest way possible. Like we can get readings from people like tarot and you know, uh, go to these therapy sessions and get surface level, when I say surface level, it's just like astrology digs deeper than just knowing that this occurred. Okay, we know this occurred and this is how you feel. You know, like when you go to a therapist, you tell them what happened. And they say, oh, okay, well this is how you should respond to this happening to you. But astrology is more like, this is why this happened to you. Like it, it was in, you, yeah. I can't explain it because I'm not the certified astrologer here. <laughs> it's just, <laughs> I've just been through the motion with it that I've allowed myself to to heal, like, really heal, and like, this this little star here helped me do it, and even before he started, this started before astrology, but astrology just really helps us understand each other as a couple, it helps us understand our children, it helps us understand ourselves, and it's just really, it's really fascinating once you really get into it and really start like. That's why most people start astrology, and, I, and I'll tell. I just kind of tell my story whenever we do this separately. But most people start astrology because they're trying to figure out themselves. That's usually how this goes. And then I, I figure out why. Once you get that, once why the why question is so big in your head, then astrology comes. Numerology is like numerology was first. But it was so easy for me that I, I didn't, um, it wasn't enough. It was like, okay, I like that this makes sense. I like that you can uh, use it. I like this, I like, I don't deal with stuff I can't use. I don't even buy books that I can't use. The only reason numerology to me, and I'm not knocking anything, the only reason why numerology doesn't resonate with me as heavily because you could have the same numbers as somebody else and your reading would be the same. Almost. Like, key. That's how I felt. That's how I felt. It's but like kind of. You, it doesn't dive deep enough is what enough I'm trying to say. Because like, awesome. what if my life have numbers and number six, but then this person sitting next to me is a number six too, like, and we have like the same, we don't get like the exact same reading, but so overall. Like this, we're not going to have the same house, we're not going to have the same, uh, we may not have the same career path. Yeah, overall uh, it's like just the same, like a, just a, a it's general like too, it's reading. General, yeah. It's just general reading, but astrology really is personalized to the point where it's like, your planets are here. Like these are your planets and how they're lined up. Okay. And then, um, and, and let's be clear. If you don't, if you don't, if you you could think of that as being general too. 
but there's but that's why I study Vedic astrology. Because people can't the same places in the same places. If two babies are born at the same time in the same hospital, low key, those right. plants are the exact same, but it still may be um, it still may be a. But how common um, the is ascendant, it? Though? The ascendant is different. The ascendant yeah. can be different. Oh. Once the degree switches, the whole thing changes, and then hmm. I mean basically then. And then um, when you, because uh, twins, but there's separate mm. charts to figure out. But they come out at different times. Three seconds, but there's, and that's why there's something called, there's different charts you look at in uh, minutes. I'm just saying, it could be seconds. It could be. It could be seconds. Mm. But the that, but the point is, even in a minute, I don't know. But the point is, when you go to, there's different charts you look at in astrology. So you would look at like this chart called a D60, which is a subtemperature chart. And, and then that chart is going to basically like your whole soul in existence. There's so many levels and layers of this stuff. So you would, so most likely it's going to be a, a, a difference, a significant difference with those twins that you right. have. That you, so it's so cool. Because twins are always so different. Like I know, I don't know that many twins, but I've come across a few in my life and their personalities are always super different. Like they, even though they look just alike, born at the same time, raised in the same house, like everybody is just different. Everybody has different personalities, different goals, and you know, we can go on and on about astrology, but we're definitely going to dive deeper into it on the podcast and I'm so excited. If you haven't subscribed to the podcast channel, go ahead, I'll leave it in the description box below. But we're at 200 subscribers. Like, it's time for this to get going. Like, oh my God. I don't want to keep you guys waiting too long, but you know, it's a process. I want everything to be perfect. I don't want to just put out like half a content and y'all be like, she should just stick to doing YouTube videos. No, I want the podcast to be like dope. So, we're working on it. We're, we're, we are writing scripts right now. Not scripts for the topics, but scripts for the intro, the trailer, and you know, all that good stuff. So, we're excited. Um, making sure the sound and everything is right. Making sure we master it before we just put it out. So, it's all trial and error. So. But the studio looks beautiful, everything is set up all perfect and whatnot. And it's time to just get in there and make some awesome stuff. Yeah, I'm excited. Me too. We're gonna go to this little spiritual shop really quick and get a few little, you know, metaphysical items or whatever. And then we're going to go to a vegan food truck out here. And then after that, we'll be going to pick up our boys. So I'm driving, so I'm about to put this camera down and focus on driving because I don't have my car mount. Go past this yet. light. Then at the next one, turn left. At the traffic lights. All right, we're gonna turn left at the next light. But yeah, so that's where we're going now. And I know I can't record because most of the spiritual shops you can't record in the store. But I'll just show you guys what I got when light. I turn come left out. onto Seventh Avenue South. All right, so we just left out of the metaphysical shop. We actually went in this one store. Can I turn this off? Or if you need it, you probably need it. Um, we went into this one store. This, this mess messed my makeup up, but I will. We went into one store that's like a sex store. Since we didn't have the children, we was like, let's go see what this store is about. And they have like all kinds of like just stuff just say stuff just to keep it PG um, because we're gonna have to amp up our love life because we're gonna have to figure out ways to be pre preventative with having children going forward because um, we're not trying to have no babies okay the way I got pregnant this time is like it's weird because he did not ejaculate in me so we know that just having unprotected sex is just not gonna get it because I could easily get pregnant again. Um, so we're gonna have to use protection. So if we have to use protection, that takes some of the fun away from it, then we can add, you know, little stuff 
you know, kinky stuff, you know? So, we went into that store. We didn't get anything from there today, obviously, because we're not ready yet. But I found these really big incense. And they're like so huge. And the guy at the counter said that they burn for like, oh, he coming in hot. The guy at the counter said they burn for like a whole day. So I got patchouli, dragon's blood, and what's the last one I got? Chompa flower. And he had the chompa flower smelling in the store. It's why I asked, like, I was like, what is that smell? It smells so good. Like, I love incense. I burn incense probably every day. If I don't burn incense, I'm burning sage or polystanto or some herbs to make the aroma of the house, like, really zen. But when I smell the chompa flower and I saw how big these incense were, I was like, I have to try these. The metaphysical shop right next door. And I went in there specifically to get these cowrie shells. Now I have cowrie shells on the ends of my locks right now, but I got these from the beauty supply store and I just don't feel like they're authentic. So I wanted to grab some that I knew were like more authentic. So I got these from the metaphysical shop. So I'm excited to put them in my hair. Purple candles. Yeah. and I got some green candles so that's all we got today not a lot but just like little things that I wanted to get like I've had these cowrie shells on my mind for like the whole week I want some real authentic cowrie shells so since we were downtown at my doctor's appointment we're pretty much downtown close to the area I just stopped in there to get them so yeah, we're just gonna go get this vegan food and I'll show you guys what we get when we get there. <laughs> Alright, we're going to a uh, vegan spot. You feel me? Not your average elite. You know what I'm saying? We out here in Birmingham, Alabama. And they still got some vegan stuff. Even though we're backwoods and country. About to eat our vegan food. Let me show y'all what we got. Look at him. He just. <laughs> Just got done eating. Oh, yeah, that was good. Uh, computer for this audition at five o'clock. Mm -hmm. You need a nap? Look at the baby. It kind of, but at five o'clock. Uh, so, so, so. Hey, say hey. Brookie. Yeah. <laughs> I'm about to go in here and take me a little nap. Well, probably not take a nap, just lay down for a Google. second. Probably don't lay down for a second. Oh, sorry. I gotta go Google. Can you be quiet? Go I'm just going to the living room. But I'm about to go lay down for a second, and yeah. Girl, I didn't took my clothes off, y'all. She's a girl, but I had that go lay down. <laughs> <laughs> 
tired. Ah! <laughs> Let's start from the feet up. <laughs> what you rocking with the feet? Little puppet stuff. I got the little puppet stuff. Got the little puppet stuff. Got the little puppet stuff. I bet you better look cute. <laughs> Got the, uh, got the dirty wipes, the dirt off wipes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go up to the band. The dirty, the dirty They're not dirty. What, Let's wait go a to minute. the band. Got them walking on the moon 5,000. They see? supposed to go up like this. <laughs> <laughs> they highways. Okay. Why well, you know you're wrong? <laughs> they highways. Why are they going to go on a spaceship? Okay. No, you can roll it. And then which, which, where you get your top from? What? I'm trying to think. Where did I get it from? <laughs> 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 Alright, thank you. Appreciate 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 Where's your tattoo? Ah, honey. Man, so actually, come get it. I got I ain't gonna say it again. I get something. Only normal one. Nah, 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 nah,
but now it's time to relax, unwind. Osiris is over here sleeping on the couch. He still got his coat on. I'm about to get the children ready to get cleaned up and we're gonna watch a movie and just enjoy the last bit of this day. But I'm exhausted guys, so I'm going to end this vlog right here. And yes, I'm whispering because I'm sorry to sleep. Um, but if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you like my videos, why not subscribe to my channel? And as always, world peace. Bye guys.